Hi friends, it's Summer here with the Kaiser Community Library and welcome back to Stories in the Stacks with Summer, Home Edition. Charlie's here. Oh, hi Charlie. He wanted to get in with us this morning, read some stories. Friends, what have you been cooking at home? What have you been helping cook? What have been some of your favorite snacks that you've had while you've been staying home and staying healthy? I'd love to hear about some of your favorite snacks. Charlie loves snacks. Me too. Friends, I have picked out three books today to share with you. And then I have a small, easy home art project that you can do finding things around your home to create. So I'm sure glad you're here. I'm thankful that I get to be here with you. Charlie's thing. Friends, this board book is titled Fruit and it is by Sarah Anderson. Huckleberry. Strawberry, watermelon, plum, apricot, mango. Let's have some. Do you like fruit salad, friends? Pineapple, orange, cantaloupe, pear, tangerine, lemon, peach, fuzzy hair, blueberries, Currants, nectarine, grapes, raspberries, apple, star fruit. Wow. Look at those shapes. Bananas. Cherries, grapefruit, lime, kumquat, kiwi. Eat them up, time. Friends, what's your favorite fruit? I like berries. Strawberries are my favorite, and I love apples. How about you guys? Friends, this is the second book that I've picked out for us today. This one's titled Orange Triangle Fox, and it is by Sarah Jones. Brown Circle Hedgehog. Red Square Owl. Orange Triangle Fox. Yellow Star Frog. Green Semicircle Turtle. Blue Rectangle Bird.
purple heart bug. Short and sweet. Hi friends. Did you enjoy those two short stories? I shared fruit and orange triangle fox. And you guys, you want to hear something really cool? Long before we all decided to stay home and stay healthy, I borrowed these two books from the free little library down at the Salem Riverfront Carousel. I have a lot of friends down there too. I have one more book to share with you friends and many of you that came to Story Hour when we were still gathering at the Kaiser Community Library. Remember reading 10 Little Rubber Ducks? So gather in friends, I'm gonna read this story to you and then I'll show you a quick little fun art project that you can do at home with a grown up when they have time. And I'll see you next week. And this is 10 Little Rubber Ducks by Eric Carle. Can you count these ducks with me, friends? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Chuggity, chuggity, chuck goes the rubber duck machine. Out pop little yellow rubber ducks, one after the other, one after the other. The little rubber ducks are painted, bills red and eyes blue. Then they are packed, ten to a box, and off they go. Where do you think they're going? To be loaded onto a cargo ship. Hello, calls the captain. The captain and his cargo ship are taking the little rubber ducks across the wide sea to faraway countries, to faraway countries. Suddenly a storm turns the water into big waves. A strong wind whistles across the sea, whistles across the sea. A big wave lifts up one of the boxes and throws it into the water. The bo box opens and 10 little rubber ducks fall out. 10 rubber ducks overboard, shouts the captain. 10 rubber ducks overboard. Let's count these ducks, friends. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. After some time, the storm calms down. The 10 little rubber ducks bob in the big wide sea. As far as one can see, only water and sky. Water and sky. The 10 little rubber ducks begin to drift apart. The first little rubber duck drifts west. A dolphin jumps over it. The second little rubber duck drifts east. A seal barks at it. Can you do a seal bark, friends? The third little rubber duck drifts north. A polar bear growls at it. What about your growl? The fourth little rubber duck drifts south. A flamingo stares at it. 
The fifth little rubber duck drifts to the left. A pelican chatters at it. The sixth little rubber duck drifts to the right. A turtle glides past it. The seventh little rubber duck drifts up. An octopus blinks at it. The eighth little rubber duck drifts down. A seagull screeches at it. The ninth little rubber duck drifts this way. A whale sings to it. The tenth little rubber duck drifts that way, bobbing and floating on the big wide sea. The sun is setting. It is getting dark. As far as one can see, only water and sky, water and sky. The next morning, the tenth little rubber duck meets a mother duck and her ducklings. Quack, says the mother duck. Quack, 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 say the ducklings. At the end of the day, the sun sets again. It is getting dark. The mother duck and her ducklings swim toward their nest. The little rubber duck floats along with them. Good night, says the moon. Quack, says the mother duck. Quack, 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 say the ducklings. Squeak says the little rubber duck. I hope you enjoyed this story too, friends. Stay tuned for a little quick fun art project that you can do with an adult with some stuff you can find right at Thanks for hanging in with me today, friends. Thanks for coming to Stories in the Stacks with Summer, Home Edition. This is one of the ducks I have in my rubber duck collection. <laughs>